what are the evil foods that are gonna make us fat? We could do a ton of research, listen to a, so many different people, and they'll all tell you something different. Give up your carbs, give up your sugar, you know, give up meat, give up red meat, give up fruit. There's so many different things that you'll read about, about don't eat this, don't eat that, don't eat this. Maybe even try this, you know, chili powder and it's gonna make you miraculously lose weight and eat a lemon warm water with warm water in the morning and that's gonna help you lose weight. And I will tell you that all of those things will literally make a 1% difference. So we don't wanna focus on any of those things because there are no such thing as evil foods that are going to make you fat. So let's look at the big picture because sometimes we think about eating fewer foods. That advice we get often when you're talking about losing weight. And that's the worst advice because people will try doing that and they'll follow that system of just eating less food. And that plan typically doesn't work either. And what we really need to do is really just reframe how we think about food. So rather than thinking about all the negative things about food, you know, no cookies and no carbs and no sugar, you know, that mentality really just sets us up for failure because psychologically, everything that we're told that we can eat, that's what we're going to start thinking about. And those are the things that are always going to be on our mind, what we're going to be craving, because now we want those things more than ever, because we're not supposed to have them. And now we can't stop thinking about them. And that just makes things worse. So instead, we can change our approach and we can start maybe adding more vegetables to our diet, eating more protein in our day, drinking a lot more water in our day. And all of a sudden, our stomach is getting more full. We're incorporating more nutrients into our diet. So even if you want to eat something above and beyond that, you can do that. No problem. Because now you're not going to be filling up on those things. Because first, you're going to be sticking to the basics first. You're going to be getting full on the important stuff that's going to actually benefit your body. And then if you want to have something outside of that, you can. So let's bring back to, you know, years ago, you know, kids. Most of the time we tell kids, you know, eat your vegetables and then you could get dessert. And when we do this, we're already putting a negative framing around vegetables because kids are like, oh, I have to eat these vegetables before I can get to the good stuff. And instead, you actually want to frame that entire conversation differently for your kids to be excited to eat vegetables. You can tell your kids, all right, let's see how many different colors we can get on our plates. And now they're trying to incorporate more veggies on their plate because now it's a game. It's exciting. They're trying to get orange and green and red. So when we're framing that as a positive, they're not looking at vegetables as good and ice cream as bad. So when we're framing food, it always has to be in a positive light. And unfortunately, 96% of people who lose weight always regain it. So how can you become part of the 4%? And the answer is really having flexibility. Most people go on diets and they remove themselves socially. They give up everything. They put a lot of pressure on themselves to just lose weight. And when you think about that from really a logical perspective rather than an emotional perspective, a logical perspective will tell you, you know, if you have a cheat meal and maybe you have a day that isn't really moving you toward your goals, you may even call it a bad day, which I don't want to call it a bad day because that's also not good terminology to use. But if you do have a so-called off day, well, good news is there's six other days during the week. So if you win the other six days, then you're going to lose weight. So it's really as simple as that. And when you are told from your friends and people you know or reading articles that tell you, you know, you can't eat this and you can't eat that. And if you're on a diet, you can't eat it. Stop what you're doing and don't listen because that's not the plan you want to be on because that's not true. So you can actually lose weight while eating anything in moderation and that's just fact and that's what will allow you to be the 4% that loses weight and keeps it off. So always focus on the bigger picture rather than the 1%. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you next video.